Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Natasha and today I kind of wanted to do a uh, mask and drawer picks for the month of December. I didn't do a drawer pick last month and I kind of been slacking all together in my videos. But anyways, I picked out this Soap and Glory mask. It's called the Fab Pore, which is skin smoothing, pore refining mask. Um, with a blot, a lot technology, white willow bark, lemon balm, tea tree, lavender, eucalyptus, and mint. It's a refreshing treat for oily combination skin. I have oily skin. I've already washed my face. I have no makeup on. Um, just wanted to try this mask. It's my first time trying a mask like this. The one that goes all over your face. And I have this friend right here. I get, um cystic acne and it tends to like this spot and right here and don't mind my nails and I just kind of want to see if this mask will help a sister out so first time wearing this we're gonna put this on and we're gonna go over my makeup drawer for the month of December minutes later I had to remove the mask because I had difficulties talking and having that mask on my face but now let's get into the makeup basket and um just one more point about that mask I love it it feels so good on my face and it felt good coming off my face so I would recommend that to anybody um but did I notice my pores shrinking not that much but I feel like with anything with poor poor quotations you have to try it multiple times to actually see a significant change but for the most part I like the mask I would repurchase it it wasn't that expensive I think it was like four dollars and something so you know you can always wait for a sale from Ulta but anyways Let's jump into the makeup drawer. I'm a little late with this um, drawer for this month, but it's okay. We have two more weeks left of December, so I'm just going to show you what I am wearing for the rest of this month. If you have not been here before, this is my makeup drawer um, video. I do this once a month where I pick out makeup items that I want to wear for the whole month, and then I start again with some different stuff the next month. In this top section I keep all my palettes, um, eyeshadow palettes specifically, and we're just going to pick one. First one is this Pat McGrath. This is the Mothership Sublime palette, uh, Bronze Temptation. It is the holiday one for this year. I was intrigued by it, so me got it, and that is what she's looking like. Then I got one of her other um, Mothership Subversive palettes. This one is in La Vie in Rose. So I, this one I wanted the moment it came out, like last year I think. I'm a little late to the game and I've been playing with her and I really, really, I like her more than I like the other one. If I had to go back, I would have just purchased this one and not both of them. Um, I don't dislike the other one I just like this one better um then I got my Viseart Visart dark matte color palette I have all of Jaclyn Hill's vault palettes honestly I really like these but that is just my opinion I have this limited edition um Urban Decay palette that came out last year. I believe I just saw it on sale on Urban Decay, or not Urban, Ulta's website. It was, yeah, I think it was Ulta. So, 
but it was limited edition for last year and all metallic shimmery colors then I have my vice too which I <laughs> sadly am still panning but you know the finale for that video is to come soon okay now we have this section which is just mainly my foundations and a little bit of eye products but I have my Milani eyeshadow primer which I'm sadly running out of. I have my Mary Kay Endless Performance um, Cream to Powder Foundation in Bronze one. I have my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation in 70. This is the old formula. I have my Neutrogena Nourishing Longwear Makeup in 115 Cocoa. <clears throat> Almost done with this. It's like right here. So I'm going to try to kill this this month. I'm going to try. I have my Tarte Amazonian um, foundation in Deep Sand. I have my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NW35. I have my Pure 4 in 1 Foundation Stick. This is in Dark. In this container, I have a mirror that I use faithfully. It's from Tarte. Um, I have eye brush. I have my Mary Kay eyebrow pencil, and this is in Dark Brunette. I have a NYX lip pencil in Nude Truffle. I have a L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Crayon Concealer. I don't even know if they make these anymore, but I still have this. I have two mask or two concealers from Mary Kay. One is in deep beige and the other one is in light bronze. And I have my mascara from Mary Kay. This is in Lash Love, me favorite. And I have this in here, which it's a Tarte Tarte eyeliner. I probably won't use that much, but it's just in there. Now we're getting to the drawer portion of the, this video. Um, this top drawer, I have a little bit of everything. A lot of lip products um, from the Too Faced Ginger Bread Girl Liquid Lipstick to Mary Kay Lipstick. I've had all different formulas of Mary Kay. This is the um, True Dimensions. This is the Semi Shine one. This one's in red smolder which you have to have your red around this time it's a holiday must I have um, this old formula from Mary Kay this one is in gingerbread and it's like a bronzy color then I have some tart ones these old ones that I'm really trying to get through my own stuff so it's not sitting here I have one of the tart lippy lingeries this is in Racy. It's a dark color, but I really, really like it. Um, I have two um, gel eyeliners from Mary Kay. One is in brown, and the other one is in black. I really, really like these two. Sometimes I feel like one, you know, feel like a black, and then sometimes I feel like a brown. Then I have these um, glitters and pigments from MAC. It was a holiday. Um, collection maybe two years ago um, this is like a plum color this is a glitter that's reddish glitter you know bring out the glitter for the holiday give me my options and then this is the gold glitter I have a loose pigment from bare minerals and this one is in um, sex kitten mmm that was a holiday product many years ago and I have two primers. One is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop primer, which is not really the best, but I bought it and I'm going to use it up because I didn't take it back. I just took it back. And this Mary Kay um, face primer. Okay, last drawer. I have my Tarte Holiday Palette from last year, the blush palette. There she is. Give me my options. I have the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette and caramel toffee I really love I like both shades but I'm really reaching for the yellow tone shade to 
you know, semi concealer. I have this Becca. This was one of the splits from the Jaclyn Hill collaboration. And this one was Amaretto. Amaretto. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Amaretto. And for Sickle Pop. So the blush you have to build up, but it's really cute. And the highlight is the highlights. I have this Brecca. Brecca. Ha ha ha. Becca Sunlight Bronzer in Eponema Sun. And I like to whip her out in the cooler months because the I have the Maui Nights too. And that one's just a little deeper and oranger. And my skin loves it in the summer. I have this Taro Too Faced Cocoa Powder. And this is in Deep Tan. That's what she's looking like. And I have this NARS. Um, it was like a. It's in Gina. It was, you know, I don't know what they called it. Like bronzer blush. But I broke the packaging. So I'm not going to open it all the way. But that's what she looks like. And that is all she wrote. Alright guys, thank you for watching my video. I appreciate you stopping by. I've been MIA for a while. You know, it just is what it is. But I'm back. Um, not that anybody probably cares. But I'm back. I'm, I'm trying to do better in doing videos because I really like doing them. It's just finding the time and the energy. But this is my basket for the month of December. I appreciate you stopping by and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.